Hello everyone, what is up? Today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin versus gold. Is Bitcoin really a new safe haven asset? Oh, before we get into the topic, subscribe if you guys are new, like this video, and yeah, let's just start. So, this article was posted on August 21st of 2019. Is Bitcoin new digital gold? That's a question on everyone's mind recently. There was a market meltdown in Argentina, escalating trade tensions between the US and China. Inversion of treasury, a yield curve. Grim economic news from Germany and anti-government protests in Hong Kong. And yet it noted Bitcoin ended the week down 10%. I guess the whole Bitcoin equals digital gold thesis is dead, right? Wrong. Bitcoin is like gold, but just in the 1970s. Safe haven assets are supposed to be boring. Take gold for instance. The annualized return of gold since 1980 is 2.3% per year. Adjusted for inflation, it's like 0.7% a year. While there have been good years, like the 2000s for the most part, it just sat there like dumb rock holding its value. Which is, after all, what's this supposed to do? If you're interested in wealth creation, history suggests you don't actually want a store of value. You want emerging store of value. That is an asset that has all the characteristics of a store of value, but that doesn't have widespread acceptance amongst investors we all know this by studying the history of gold the vast majority of returns gold has enjoyed in the modern era came in the 1970s consider returns by decade so 1970s about 1.3 uh, thousand percent 1980s negative 22 percent 1990s negative 28 percent 2000s about 300 percent and in 2010s 50 percent in 1970s was of course the u.s abandoned the gold standard at the time People didn't know what to make of gold. Well, would it succeed as a safe haven asset, unfettered from the dollar, or cast aside as a arbitrary relic, as John uh, Kenyus once called it? The results were a period of significant volatility, as two forces argued back and forth. There were years like 1975 when gold uh, tumbled in value, falling 25%, and years like 1979 when soared rising 120 percent there was daily volatility too in 1973 gold's price moved more than three percent one out of every 10 days almost sounds like bitcoin to me so it had lots of uh, volatility like bitcoin does as of now that's what they're trying to explain it was exactly this risk however the possibility that gold could be cast into the dustbin of history like uh harry shell says uh, and other forgotten stores of value that led to gold's volatility and strong returns as evidence found that gold would in fact continue to serve a safe haven returns spiked and more investors made gold a part of their pro uh, portfolios that same uh, process is taking place in bitcoin today which is true okay now let's talk about bitcoin is both a safe haven asset and volatile let's get used to it People love to make analogies and put unfamiliar things in a box. The Bitcoin equal gold narrative is an easy crutch because Bitcoin shares many characteristics with gold. It's scarce, profitable, fungible, visible, and degrade over time, and has value even though it has no cash flows. Moreover, in certain moments, Bitcoin has shown signs of behaving like a classic store of value. When the US labeled China currency multiply in early August, for instance, Bitcoin price spikes. But at the same time, Bitcoin also also is a risk asset. It's new and much like gold and its first decades long term position in the world is not like yet secure. As a result, it shares characteristics and with other uh, risk assets like stocks and venture uh, capital investments. When market enters a risk off mode, some buy it as a safe haven while others lose faith and sell the peel to back to their risk. These two forces shelter from my, uh, macro threats and exposure to risk can come into direct conflict. When the market stumbles for macro reasons, for instance, the day-to-day -day returns of Bitcoin become hard. Over time, however, the dominant paradigm is clear. Bitcoin is an emerging store of value. Big capital, you know, bold. Each day, more investors gain greater confidence in Bitcoin place in the world. Each day, it gets easier for institutional investors and financial advisors to buy. Each day, millennials who prefer Bitcoin to buy gold by 9 to 1 ratio inch closer to their prime investing years. Like gold in the 1970s, this has translated into volatile but stronger returns. Given the level of spectacleism that remains about Bitcoin's role in his uh, society. But there's still plenty 
of upside left. Someday maybe Bitcoin will also be boring as dirt. But chances are, if we get to that point, prices will significantly be higher than they are today. Okay, so what we got out of this article, I believe it's true. Because if we take a look at gold and Bitcoin, they're really the same. Gold was the same volatile and it took years upon years for people to get used to it. Now, Bitcoin is the same. It's volatile right now, but will get people years and years to get used to it. I predict maybe in like five years, people will get... Uh, used to and more people will obviously accept bitcoin and guess what we're here from the start so guess we're all lucky in a way right but yeah that's this was the video today hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in my next video peace have a good one